That's better. Welcome back. Lots of stuff going on now, at least in my head. Communicating with Cobra Aero again. Aero. About 3D printing, metal 3D printing. Uh, a cylinder for me. I'm also in contact with Proto Labs Europe for the same reasons. O-rings haven't arrived yet. Might be a good thing. I'm forced to calm down and check a few things before we start testing again. I'm starting to think that porosity is um, the reason for low compression. That all these small, small holes in the bore are acting just like ring gaps, small ring gaps, intermittent ring gaps while the ring is passing by. Also, there might be. These holes might be actual wormholes going through the casting and out to the water jacket and that wouldn't be a great thing when uh, we put water in it. So um, I think I have um, a solution for testing purposes. By the way, you've seen the writing on my wall, easy is not worth anything. I've made a t-shirt and a tank top and a long sleeve, but it's uh, in my Teespring shop, link in the description. I checked the ring gap, it's the same as when we assembled before I started it last time, so that's good. There's a lot of uh, dark, there's a lot of grey stuff in the um, like residue here, so something is wearing, like, you wouldn't expect to see that in a, in a healthy engine. Might not be the ring after all, maybe it's the bore, there's a spot now that's been worn down. I can see bare aluminium and um, that wasn't there before, so um, it might be the plating that's my problem here. My too soft plating is probably a problem, of course it is. Before we talk about solutions to that problem, let's see if we can close off these pores and um, do a compression test. I forgot to hit record. What I did was I filled all those pores with super glue and now I'm gonna sand down the excess and uh, do a compression test. And before you leave a comment, of course this will not work in an engine. This is just for a compression test to see if those pores contributed to low compression or bad sealing. Okay, I've managed to close up a lot of those pores. There's, uh, it's not a perfect job. It was, uh, it was more difficult to get that uh, super glue out of there without using acetone than I thought. So I had to use acetone and, and thereby removed some of the glue that I wasn't supposed to remove. But I think it looks like some of the pores are closed off. I think if the pores are a problem, we should see a difference now. If anything, compression is lower after super gluing the pores. Might be because there's some super glue residue in the where it's not supposed to be and uh, the ring is not sealing properly. But I think that is a strong indication that the pores are not the problem here. Which is good, but also a pity because I had planned some uh, cool uh, 
impregnation uh, resin stuff <laughs> at home here. But I don't think it's needed. Oh, the adapter piece for the exhaust. That's getting done now. Thanks to Joachim Ruslan. More about that when it arrives. We need to build this valve. I checked the bore. It, it is fairly round and it hasn't worn much at all. But that black grey stuff has to come from somewhere. And I, I suspect it's probably a combination of the ring and the bore. We saw that little spot that it wore off. So um, I think we have to decide now. Either get this board and plate it somewhere else. Or use this... For legal reasons, I'll call it definitely not nitric acid to uh, strip the nickel and uh, and try another time here. Now with the uh, silicon carbide and the boron nitride in the mix, should produce a really hard coating. As the bore is pretty round, I could hone off and hone it even rounder before I strip the plating and then replate it. That would be more fun than sending it somewhere else. It would be another failure. I could get it bored out and uh, get a liner made. If you have the machinery and skills to bore out the cylinder and make a liner from a CAD file, please let me know, because uh, I think that's maybe the fastest option, if someone can do it and have time for it fast. We won't have to worry about porosity and we won't have to worry about plating troubles and I can play with the plating later and it doesn't have to be this cylinder and um, yeah yep 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 okay thanks for watching